Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And this time we are back on the South London network with a very special class 415. Now the 415 is a is well it's quite an interesting one. Um we've played about with the 420 before, but this is the 415. And it is in Network Southeast. I think these look amazing in Network Southeast livery. One of the best liveries for them. Uh, and it is a sort of slam door style loco. Now this scenario is called Evening Rush. And it is about 30 minutes long. So we will be getting into it. And just look at the detail on the front of this thing. This is one of the nicer dovetail um you know models and locos on steam uh, without you know getting like a uh, Armstrong powerhouse pack or something but this is such a really really nice model um, and we will be checking it out but before we do I just want to say if you are a new viewer and you haven't already please subscribe down below right let's jump in and uh, get going Good evening driver, as it is rush hour you'll have to stick to a tight timetable on your journey to London Bridge. Before departing open the doors for passengers. Okay, so let's get them on the go and uh, get some headlights, cab lights, instrument lights, yep we're going to need wipers. There we go, nice quiet wiper, that's what I like to see. And this is a EMU, and it is picking up electric from the third rail. Just had a warning for that yellow signal, so maybe we'll encounter a red in a sec. We'll just be on the lookout. But yeah, really, really nice model this. Um, yeah, just something completely different, and it's 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 quite old. And oh, we got yellow. But yeah, it's just something completely different, and. Uh, Quite old. Let's try the horn out. Oh, quite a decent horn that. Can we do the windows? Can't do the window, I don't think. No, that's a shame. Test the brake. I don't know. Now oh, we got green. Very nice. We are we are stopping in a sec. Norwood Junction. But yeah, quite a nice, quite a nice model. Um, we did try out the 420, I think it was, before now. But uh, this is the one, uh, the 415. And uh, it uses the third rail. Built between 51 and 57, and uh, it, it became it became the numerous sort of EMU for many many regions of the UK. That's quite cool. Not sure who sort of molded this one. Um, I know that sometimes Dovetail do sort of 
get other people, other companies to model their their locos. Uh, so I'm not really too sure who did this one, but uh, they've done a really nice job. He's a really, really nice loco. And I'll show you the uh, the roof in a sec. People can get on both sides here. Make sure we're all in. Almost. We're actually okay there. Because I can get in. But yeah, look at the roof detail on this. Just an old scratched out roof and it looks amazing. So yeah, next stop's not too far away. And we're supposed to get there at 08, so we're a bit behind. We're a bit behind. But yeah, if this this was built between uh, 51 and 57, um, I'm not too sure when this scenario is set. Probably it could be the 60s uh, this scenario is set in. I'm not too sure. Multiple stations next to each other. What well, we are doing a, a small service run. This sort of thing nowadays would probably be done uh, by sort of underground trains um, or those types of like sort of tubular trains. But back then, back in like the you know 50s and 60s, it would have been these sort of ones running on the these sort of networks. Brake quite quickly, so test the brake definitely <laughs> definitely works. But yeah, I saw that this this particular loco was uh, on Steam for it was well it was on sale, so I picked this up. I picked up a few other ones as well, like the one five nine in Network Southeast for the Riviera route and. Uh, we braked a bit too early here. And yeah, just picked up quite a few that were on sale, so we will be checking out some more stuff. We are a minute late, which is it's all right. But yeah, I'm I'm loving the look of this. It's looking really good, and these look the best in Network South East. These, these like early EMUs, they do look really good in Network South East. I love how the livery connects with one another. It's a shame I don't know the head code um, code for this. Yeah, I don't I don't know it. Uh, we can actually get going. Be sort of old style braking. Takes ages to get up to speed <laughs> to get going. It's got that EMU sound though, of the motors sort of, sort of charging up, sort of thing. one we're already halfway through
giving it a lot of break there. Okay, we can get going. Ooh, let's break. Break should come off. Topic up speed. Yeah, so this um, particular loco came out on Steam. Dovetail released it in 2015. And it is for the South London network and it is still currently on sale for three pounds um, it went it, it, normally it's 12 pounds but it is on sale at the moment on Steam for three pounds so if you want to pick it up go you can go do that I don't know how long it's going to be like that for but for this 12 pounds is a good still a good deal for this model it is really really nice really high detail everything sort of works um, I'm not too sure who the third party who designed it is or uh, had a hand in it I can find out it might have been I can't I can't see on this but uh it's really nice so you know 12 pound normally to get it for three pound is an absolute steal and we're actually I'm gonna keep the light on yeah, to get this for three pound is an absolute steal. So if you can pick it up for that, definitely, definitely do. This is a really, really nice logo, and uh, I believe we've already checked out the four sixteen class four sixteen before. Um, there's sort of a, a whole array of these sort of slam slam door locos. but they are really nice and I think Armstrong Powerhouse does um, a few enhancement packs for the sort of style of locos it might be for the, the 4 um, 15 here I can't quite remember but yeah I'd definitely check out this one on Steam and if you want to take it further t check out the Armstrong Powerhouse ones style of locos are really really cool I'm trying to get a nice picture as well look at that that's cool yeah that's really cool all the doors are open. <laughs> right. Where's the next one? Just down the rail. They're all fairly close to each other. I think the whole route is about it's about ten mile long, something like that. It's just the starting up. It takes forever. It's not like a modern loco where it's just instant power. Old style handbrake wheel as well.
can't even get them to the full speed. By the time we've done that, we need to uh, <laughs> we need to brake for the station. Forest Hill. We'll start. We won't break just yet. This thing can't stop really well. Shame that it's raining in game. Would have been nice to have seen this. Nice sunshine, but I just love the like roof texture. Done a really good job. It's like underneath here, same. Yeah, they've done a really good job. Really decent. There's that, th where well, there's the third rail pickup. Yeah, they've done a really decent job. The classic green interior as well. This is sort of like 50s, 60s style EMUs. Is this green? They sort of painted the uh, cams in. Didn't mean to break that much. It's okay. Time will be 1717. Uh, we're really <laughs> far behind now. It's okay. And we're just going to stop just in. We are a four car, but we don't have to. This is what the eight car marker here. We, we've got in, so that's fine. Absolutely loving this so far. It's really good, really good loco. Another one over there. That's why I'm thinking it's set around the era of the 60s, 50s and 60s, because, well, the scenario said it's not a, you know, it's not a uh, special tour or anything, but there's other ones running around as well. So if this was like modern day and this was out on a special tour, there wouldn't be other, there wouldn't be other ones running around, but uh, there is. What's he actually got on the front of his? He's actually just got it blank. All right, we are three stops away from being done. Um, New Crossgate and London Bridge, which is only uh, four mile, well, five mile away. I think this will be a longer stretch here. Pretty fast, but we should be able to break fairly quickly. It's 
sometimes forget how quick this can actually stop. This one might be an overshoot, but... We got the majority of it in. It's fine, as long as we can pick up passengers. It's not a problem. Crossgated just down here. Not breaking a lot earlier this time. I'm not sure what it's warning us about. Might just be a uh, red light as we get closer to London Bridge. stopping quite quickly I, I don't want to stop too soon could be red so I'll have to see the guard there, telling us that all the doors were shut, which is good. to London Bridge. We have got a yellow. It's probably just warning us about the speeds, potentially.
crossing the tracks here is you have to do take it a bit slower 30 mile an hour can't just power it through there <laughs> with all these points doing 60 something could very easily go wrong just have to check if there's a red I think that's ours is the green we'll know as soon as we cross here it is yeah excellent now there's a 45 so we and then it goes to 60 again we're not that far though we're only two mile away it's starting to get built up look you can see the high rises and stuff so I'm not really too sure when all that would have been built could have been 70s so this could be 70s sort of late 60s early 70s maybe But it's uh, it's got built up quite quick. Oh, it's straight into wheat field. I think we're going to have greens all the way into uh, London Bridge, so uh, should be fine. It does drop down to a twenty-five, so. We will. We're not there just yet, but we will sort of anticipate that. And yeah, this four one five has been really, really enjoyable. Probably going a bit too fast with that. But yeah, it's been really, really enjoyable. I've actually really liked taking this out. And uh, yeah, the weather wasn't great, but we've had a good time anyway. Um, I've got a red just before the station, but it looks things. Unless we're, uh, I mean, we are supposed to be coming down on the speed here. And uh, 29, we were supposed to get here, so we are like two minutes late or so, but it's, it's all right. What's that? Is that the shard? I don't think that was supposed to be here in the, in the 70s. <laughs> it's a bit laggy as we come into London here as it loads the map. Uh, this part of the map, there's a lot of rail. And sort of a lot of things going on. Not sure where we're going here, but we are doing that. No, we are in this lane. It's okay. It was just one. was about the speeds, I think. I was just hoping it wasn't going to crash, but we're okay. See, there's a lot of rail, a lot of stuff it's got to render here. For train sim that it tends to be quite difficult as the struggle. Okay, that was it. Oh, that was the Clask 415. Really enjoyed it. It was a really good logo. If you want to see more of this logo, subscribe down below. Check out the channel. There are multiple videos of similar logos on the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.